जी बेटा अस्सलाम वालेकुम ऑल राइट सो दिस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू ग्रुप 17 एंड इलेक्ट्रोड पोटेंशियल्स एंड द एबिलिटी ऑफ ग्रुप 17 टू एक्ट एज एन ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट राइट दिस इज बेसिकली मार्च 2018 पेपर 42 क्वेश्चन नंबर 2 ऑल राइट सो द क्वेश्चन इज डिस्क्राइब द ट्रेंड इन द रिएक्टिविटी ऑफ हैलोजेंस क्लोरीन ब्रोमीन एंड आयोडीन एज ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट right so we have to describe the trend of the reactivity of halogen as an oxidizing agent either it is they are getting more uh, stronger oxidizing agents or they are getting weak as an oxidizing agent explain this trend using e not values from the data booklet all right so we have to find out the e not values from the data booklet for chlorine half cell cl2 to cl minus and br2 to br minus and i2 to i minus so let's look at the e not values so for bromine this is plus 1.07 the e not value is plus 1.07 for chlorine this is 1.36 1.36 and for iodine this is plus 0.54 plus 0.5 so as you can see that the uh, e not or the electrode potential values are decreasing as we are going down the group chlorine to bromine to iodine the e not values are decreasing right the e not values are decreasing and if e not values are decreasing they are getting less positive that means the strength as an oxidizing agent is also decreasing right because higher the or more positive the e not value um, higher the chances of the element uh, to get reduced so if the e not value we can just simply say that as e not values are decreasing that means the strength as an oxidizing agent decreases down the group so they are getting weak oxidizing agent as we are going down the group next part of the question is write an equation for the reaction between chlorine and water so this is from as level chlorine reacts with water we know this thing that it forms hcl disproportionation reaction occurs and we get hcl o next is use standard electrode potential use standard electrode potential data from the data booklet to calculate the e not cell for the following reaction chlorine reacting with hydroxide ions uh, right so we have to calculate the e not cell for this reaction so for uh, to find out the e not cell for this reaction first we have to find out the half equations right so one of the half equation is in which chlorine is being Uh, is getting reduced from Cl zero to minus one, right? So this would be Cl two plus two electrons gives to Cl minus, and the E not value for this is plus one point three six, and the other equation would be in which chlorine is is being oxidized from zero, its oxidation state is changing into plus one, right? So let's find out this equation in which chlorate ions are forming so this is the equation clo minus plus h2o all right so this equation is clo minus plus h2o plus two electrons cl minus plus two oh minus right and this E not cell is E not value is plus zero point eight nine. Now, if you look at the redox reaction, if you look at this redox reaction, in this reaction we can see that chlorine is being reduced as well as it is oxidizing. So chlorine is converting into this chlorate ions, right? So that means we need ClO minus chlorate ions on the product side. So that means this equation, equation two, would be reversed. We have to reverse this equation. So if we reverse this equation. you have to reverse this equation so by reversing this equation we get cl minus plus 2 oh minus gives clo minus plus h2o plus two electrons 
now we have to add the equation let's suppose if i name this equation equation one and this one equation two so let's add both these equations so electrons would be cancelled out two electrons two electrons they would be cancelled out cl minus would be cancelled by cl minus so we are left with one cl minus and no cancellations no more things are being cancelled out so let's write the final equation so this would be cl2 cl2 plus 2oh minus gives cl minus plus clo minus plus h2o and if you look at this equation this is the same equation they have given us in the question so that means we have find out the correct half equations now we just have to find out the e naught cell so e naught cell would be e reduction minus e oxidation e naught cell is e reduction minus e oxidation so reduction is happening in equation one so that means plus 1.36 minus 0 0.89 so 1.36 minus 0 0.89 that would be plus 0 0.4 7 volt right so this would be the e naught cell for this reaction now the next part of the question is the hydroxide ion concentration was increased and the e cell was measured indicate how the value of e cell measured would compare to the e naught cell calculated in two by placing one tick in the table so they're saying that the concentration of hydroxide ion is increased the concentration of hydroxide ion would increase so when we increase the concentration of hydroxide ions according to lee chatelier principle this equilibrium will shift forward and if equilibrium will shift forward that means the value of e cell the e cell for this reaction is plus 0 0.47 so if more forward reaction would occur so that means this value would also increase so that means e cell becomes more positive than the e naught cell because as the concentration of hydroxide ion increases the final redox reaction moves right more product form therefore the e cell value gets less more positive so if more forward reaction occurs because we have calculated the e cell for the forward reaction and for forward reaction it is plus 0 0.47 so if more forward reaction occurs that means this value get more and more positive all right next is a half equation involving bromate ions and bromide ions is shown so bromate ions are converting into bromide ions an alkaline solution of chlorate ions can be used to oxidize bromide ions to bromate so we can use an alkaline solution of chlorate ion to oxidize bromide ions into bromate reverse reaction uh, use the data booklet and the half equation shown to write an equation for this reaction right so again we have to calculate we have to find the half uh, now we have to write the redox equation final redox equation but for that we need the other half equation in which uh, we have alkaline chlorate ions which act as an oxidizing agent so this is the same equation we used in last part so clo minus clo minus plus h2o plus two electrons gives cl minus plus 2oh minus and this is oxidizing bromide ions this is oxidizing bromide ions so this equation would be reversed uh, would be right uh, this equation will be written in so we will write this equation in reverse form so the, because we are oxidizing bromide ions so the equation would be br minus plus 6 oh minus this gives bromate ions bro3 minus plus 3h2o plus 6 electrons now we have to add these two equations but before that we have to cancel the electrons so in equation 2 if this is equation 2 if this is equation 1 in equation 2 we have 6 electrons equation 1 2 electrons so that means multiply equation 1 by 3 so this becomes 3 clo minus 3h2o 2 3 is a 6 3 cl minus and 2 3 is a 6 so 6 electrons would be cancelled by 6 electrons 6 oh ions 6 oh ions cancelled and what we are left with now is uh, 3 h2o 3 h2o cancelled so we are left with 
थ्री सी एल ओ माइनस प्लस बी आर माइनस गेव्स थ्री सी एल माइनस प्लस ब्रोमेट आइन बी आर ओ थ्री माइनस सो दिस इज द फाइनल इक्वेशन वेन वी रिएक्ट क्लोरिएट आइंस एल्पलाइन क्लोरिएट आइंस विद ब्रोमाइड आइंस नेक्स्ट इज कैलकुलेट द ई सेल फॉर द रिएक्शन इन वन सो द ई सेल फॉर द रिडक्शन हाफ सेल इज जीरो पॉइंट एट नाइन जीरो पॉइंट एट नाइन एंड ऑक्सीडेशन हाफ सेल इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव एट तो माइन जीरो पॉइंट एट नाइन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव एट सो दैट वुड बी जीरो पॉइंट थ्री वन और प्लस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री वन फाइनल पार्ट ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेन अ कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड सोल्यूशन ऑफ ब्रोमिक एसिड इज वॉर्म्ड इट डीकम्पोजेज टू फॉर्म ब्रोमीन ऑक्सीजन एंड वॉटर ओनली राइट एन इक्वेशन फॉर दिस रिएक्शन द यूज ऑफ ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर मे बी हेल्पफुल सो वी जस्ट हैव टू राइट द इक्वेशन सो ब्रोमिक एसिड एच बी आर ओ थ्री डीकम्पोजेज टू गिव ब्रोमीन बी आर टू प्लस ऑक्सीजन ओ टू प्लस एच टू ओ now we have to balance the equation so we have two bromines on the product side one on the reactant side so multiply this by 2 so two hydrogens on the reactant side two hydrogens on the product side now we have how many oxygens six oxygen 2 3 is 6 one so that means with this oxygen we would write 5 upon 2 or you can just simply multiply the whole equation by 2 if we multiply this whole equation by 2 this becomes 4 hbro3 Gives two Br two plus five O two plus two H two O. So you can write either one of these equations. All right. So this is the end of the question.